Hello and welcome to Small Business CEO TV, where small business finds big ideas. I'm Sylvia Henderson, a guest host today for Small Business CEO TV. And I'm interviewing your real host or permanent host, Glenn Garns, the founder of Small Business CEO. Glenn, welcome to your show. <laughs> I, so, I so love to hear you say that, when you say this, where small business finds big ideas, because I, I, it, it's, it's something that I feel strongly about, but I like hearing somebody else say it. <laughs> hey, that's my idea. I love to bring ideas into action, and well, I mean, it's your idea for the show, but I'm all about ideas too. Anyhow, this is really great sitting here in this seat, because while I've hosted other shows, I feel like I'm a special guest hosting this one. So we're going to go right in, come right in to talk about Small Business CEO. All right. Well, where to start? I mean, it's such a, it's well, been such a journey. And I'm going to do to you what you've done for other folks, which is before we get into Small Business CEO, the business and the program, a little bit about yourself. So okay. let's find a little bit about Just Glenn. Just a little bit. You know, now, yeah. you, you always run into danger when you ask Glenn to tell a little bit about That's okay. Himself. I'm the host. I'm moderating. You'll, you'll cut so me I off. Got you. Okay. So, yes. so, so I'm originally from New Jersey. Grew up in Montclair, New Jersey. Uh, attended high school there. Went to college, University of Pittsburgh. You and I have that in common. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I do have some Penn State friends. So the, <laughs> they, they, you know, I, I, know. I am forgiven for having uh, been at the other end of the uh, state uh, for, for college came down to GW for law school here. That's what brought me to the Washington, D.C. area. Okay. And when I graduated from law school, I worked uh, initially with a law firm over, uh, over on K Street in downtown D.C. Less than two years later, I went out and started my own law firm, and that's where the journey really got interesting. Okay. Because I had more control over what kind of cases I worked on and who I worked with and, and the things that I was learning from the people that I worked with, so it was, it was fantastic. So fast forward to uh, today, well, I'm going to make one stop. About 14 years ago, I closed my law firm. Yeah, because that's what people want to yep. know. So Got bored with it. Uh -huh. Didn't feel that my parents needed any more bragging rights to having the first attorney in the, in the family and all that other good stuff that they were hoping for. And ultimately decided that I wanted to do something completely different. But the one thing, the one common thread in everything I did was I loved entrepreneurship. Mm. I loved the fact that I had clients that were literally having to sue or be sued. That's why they were coming to me. But they were excited about their businesses. Huh. I was like, what are you all so excited about? I'm about to ask you to stroke a pretty big check to have me represent you. So this is nothing. Just get us past this because we got bigger things to get onto. Okay. Well, I wanted to learn about the bigger things. And when I found out what they were doing, I very quickly developed a bigger interest in entrepreneurship than I did in the practice of law, which is a relatively sterile and stifling environment. So. Uh, when I left the practice of law, the first thing I did out of, law, or out, out of the practice, the only thing I knew how to do that anyone cared about was how to be a rainmaker, how to generate business through referrals. I didn't have TV ads, didn't have yellow page ads or any of that kind of stuff in my law practice. So learning how to build my business through relationships was huge. And it became huge for me to teach other people how to do that. It was literally the catalyst that got me to where we are today with Small Business CEO and some of the other projects that we work on. So. Um, I have a rather significant interest and in, in experience level with small business, uh, both from a legal and a practical standpoint. A lot of insight from, uh, into creative thinking and things of that nature, all developed as a result of all these experiences that I had. I didn't have any formal, uh, you know, I certainly didn't go to college for it. That's right. How many you know? of us do? Yeah. Exactly. Which is a good thing for most people that are getting started in entrepreneurship is that you don't have to feel the need to go back to college or some formal education process. You can learn from self-study, uh, which is where most people get their initial introduction to, to entrepreneurship. And probably more important than anything else, from mentorship. Uh -huh. Talking with people who have already traveled the path that you're, tra you're about to travel and find out if you can learn from their experiences so that you don't have to create all of your own. So what is Small Business CEO? I mean, is it a training program? Is it a TV show? Is it a... I don't know what. What is SBCEO? I, I like to think of small business CEO as being the best combination or the best fusion of thought leadership, a think tank, a fraternal organization where members get to know each other and support each other in business, and a place where small business owners can find education and mentorship to shorten their learning curve. 
So it's kind of an eclectic mix of resources that I found valuable over the years, not really understanding while I was experiencing it why they were valuable or how valuable they were, but certainly having someone I could pick up the phone and bounce questions off of saved me from making poor choices. Didn't save me from all of them, well. but, it, but it saved right. me from the ones that I was smart enough to pick up the phone and get answers on. Um, being able to, to get connected to quality people who were always looking out for you. Mm. you know, I, get, I get calls mm. every day from people needing something and calls every day from people looking to do something for me because of relationships I built over the years. And I mean, you're, you're one of those relationships. I mean, we've been together for, I don't even know how many years it is I now. I don't but either now. It's been enough well years over, yeah. that I always know that if you're sending me somebody to be connected to or a resource that I better stop what I'm doing and pay attention because you make quality introductions and, and, it's, and I applaud myself for having made a quality connection with someone who takes that seriously. But that's the power, that's the power of an organization like Small Business CEO. It's about building relationships, it's about getting connected to the right information and the right people to help you accelerate the pace at which you can grow your business to what you want it to be. So how does somebody who's watching this even get involved? I mean, is it beyond the average business owner with they're a solo entrepreneur? How do they get connected and into the ecosystem? So it's really pretty simple, actually. Um, Small Business CEO was created for startup, early stage, and mature businesses because we all have the ability to grow and learn from each other and to be resources to each other. So whether you're getting started in business, you're just thinking about getting started in business, this is a great time for you to get connected. If you're an early stage company and you've already gotten started but you still are experiencing some learning curve uh, situations, it's a good time for you to get connected. And if you are a mature business, you've been around five to 10, 15, or even more, more years than that, getting into, you know, you, you never grow out of making quality no. connections no. and staying on the cutting edge of what's happening now in business. So. Getting started is just a matter of going to sbceo.com and clicking the join, uh, join the network link and getting on board. And you know, there's a lot of different, a lot of resources that we have available. Uh, and I'm not gonna try to cover okay. all of those. I'm gonna encourage people to go to the website and find out about all the benefits that come with membership because they're all very significant. We can't do them justice in right. this short period of time that we're gonna have together here today. But I will tell you, there's six main benefits. Uh -huh. Online education to help you to shorten your learning curve okay. and to keep you on the cutting edge of what is out here for you that's new. We pride ourselves on keeping our members informed of new technologies, new strategies, internet marketing strategies, whatever it might be. We're staying on the cutting edge to make that our mission so that it becomes part of the resource that's available to you. Okay. Mentorship, and mentorship comes in many forms including people that are more experienced with you or people that have the same level of experience but just different experiences than you. So again, while we have business mentors that are available to answer business-related questions or life questions for that matter, you'll find that being able to interact with other members within our social learning community also gives you the ability to share and bounce ideas mm -hmm. off of each other, which is extremely valuable. A lot of people underestimate the value of that, but truly, if, if, if we're really paying attention, we know that we can learn from virtually anybody that's got an yeah. experience that's different than ours. We also offer the one-page website which is basically, truly what I just described, a one-page website on our website that has all of your contact information, it features your Small Business CEO TV episode, like the one we're doing uh -huh. here, where you get to tell your story, get, con get quality connected to uh, all the other members and to customers, because we share that out both to, with your colleagues and with your ideal client, whoever it is that you're looking to serve. Um, we also offer the virtual business card, you know, which is again, a little, you know, go to the website and find out more okay. about that. But the virtual okay. business card is a big time saver and a big money saver for people who regularly go to networking events. And it really helps you to put your best foot forward. Um, let me see, I'm leaving something out Number here. Five. Then we got just quality connections. I okay. mean, that's a, big, that's a big component of what we do. And, and all of those things combine into an incredible toolkit of resources that every small business owner should have, but very few do. And that's why I put it together this way. I wanted there to be a place where people could get a really robust set of resources to get themselves started or to grow their businesses. And I feel like we've really, uh, you know, I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm, I feel like we nailed it. I really, I really feel that we got this, uh, got this formula right for people. So if somebody's watching this and they're thinking, but I don't know how to do all that, are you, is there a guidance? Is there, I'll walk you through all of these steps? 
that's exactly what okay. the online learning center is about. Okay. So I will I will expand on that on that on that one uh, resource. So we have an online learning center where, as you join, you get a username and password, and you can log in and take courses on virtually any aspect of business you can think of. Everything from writing up your business plan to coming up with your business idea to finding the right people to be in business with, to business networking to marketing your business on the internet and off. All of that is in one learning center. Okay. Now, obviously, you can watch courses all day long, but you very rarely get all the answers in the course. There's always a need to ask follow-up questions. So we have online discussion groups around the topics that you're studying that you can ask people that have experience with that topic a follow-up question. Okay. And that's where the mentorship comes into play. It's a great way for you to maximize your ability to learn from the questions that you ask, but also the questions that are being asked mm -hmm. by other members, because it's a communal experience. Anyone, can, anyone that's a member can be in the discussion forums asking questions, um, providing some insight into their, with their own answers if that's appropriate, but more importantly, seeing the questions that are being asked and being able to benefit from the answers that were given and then of course being able to ask your own questions. So that's all part of that social learning community. It's all part of the ecosystem. And frankly, that one benefit would be worth the price of admission if it was up to me to, 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 to be able to recommend to somebody that they get plugged in. Okay, so basically the answer for all, it, all of small business CEO is don't be afraid to start your business. You've got, you've got a friend, you've got help, and you're not alone. That's so right. throughout the whole thing, don't be afraid. A lot of Do. people, you know, this is a little bit of a cliche, but I like the cliche anyway, because there is a lesson in it, which is that when you're an entrepreneur, when you're a small business owner, you're in business for yourself, mm -hmm. but it's up to you whether you choose to be in business by yourself. Ah. We've created an environment that allows you to be in business in collaboration and be connected to others who are sharing ideas, information, resources, and just enthusiasm and motivation. You know, sometimes it's a matter of peer, you know, we, we hear about peer pressure, people associate that being mm -hmm. negative. We're talking about peer mm -hmm. influence, where you see other people getting out here and getting after it, and it inspires you to do the same. And then you become inspiration for others as well. So it's like having workout partners in entrepreneurship. Plus, you've got people that are more experienced kind of guiding and facilitating the discussion so that it keeps you on track and you know that you're not just, you know, passing, um, you know, Business cards, back, business and business forth, cards yeah. back and forth, or just throwing stuff out, rants. You know, you know that you're, yep. you know that you're actually being productive with the thoughts that you're sharing and the information that you're getting in, in exchange. Okay, so as we wrap this up, uh, what's one thing that, back to you personally, one thing that people don't know about you? Oh man, there's yeah, so, you've been there's asking so many that things that people along. don't know about me. <laughs> um, I'll give you the proudest thing that okay. most people don't know about me, which is that when I was in college, I also went to school part-time to become a paramedic so mm. that I could volunteer with the local rescue squads out in Pittsburgh. So I was at the University of Pittsburgh full-time, and on the weekends, I went to Allegheny Community College wow. to learn uh, advanced life support as a paramedic, EMT paramedic, so that I could volunteer my time with some of the local, uh, the local community rescue squads. Wow! And frankly, if it had been up to me, I would have been a paramedic. Hmm. But since it was up to my parents, oh. I became a lawyer, <laughs> and the rest is history. Cool. So who knows? Maybe you wouldn't even have got a chance to know me if I had if I had my choice. <laughs> Although you might be surprised, is I always wanted to be a I wanted to drive an ambulance. I didn't know that you had to do the whole thing. Yeah. I thought I wanted to drive an ambulance because <laughs> I wanted to drive fast legally. But when I found out I had to take biology and I had to deal with the blood and the gore, and the, I thought, oh man, I just want to drive fast. So well, you know, we could have been out there together. <laughs> it was good stuff. It was, it was probably one of the biggest things that fed my interest in technology because you got to use defibrillators mm. and telemetry units. And, you know, I was, always a, I was always a technology geek even as a kid. And even today, that's, that's my passion is, is helping people learn how to leverage technologies primarily for the purpose mm. of building relationships. Right. And so, you know, you can you can use technology without losing the personal touch. And that's uh, that's what I like to teach people today. So. Cool. And so how do people find out about this? All right. So that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. All they got to do is go to www.sbceo.com, www.sbceo.com. Okay. And on the front page of the website, you can click, you can go down to the second, the, the second section and be able to see the six benefits. And there's a little video that explains each benefit, which is why I didn't want to go over in too mm -hmm. much detail here, because you can watch a two or three minute video that explains it in much greater detail. And then, of course, if you like what you see and you feel that this is a good fit, could be an asset to you in your business, you can click the link at the top for Join the Network. 
and be able to uh, submit an application. The application is just where we, you know, we, it's, it's not a major screening, but we do like to talk with members just to make sure that they know what they're getting and why they're joining and they're coming in with the right mindset in place. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about a resource for you, but about you being a resource to others That's as well. And we want to write. We want to make sure we're bringing the right people into the program. This isn't just a place to come and, you know, uh, um, prospect, so to speak. Okay. This is a place where there's as much give as there is in getting, and uh, we want to make sure that people understand that, so that they come in with the right, sm the right mindset, the right intentions. Well, okay. Well, Glenn, thank you for founding, for having, being the thought leader that created Small Business CEO, the whole program. Thank you for having me as your guest host so that I could get you to talk about it. Well, you come back and do this anytime All you right, like. All right, awesome. We'd to have you back, so. <laughs> so, with that, make sure you go to sbceo.com and join the network. I'm in the network. Good people I know are in the network. And with that, um, I end the show, and I'm Sylvia Henderson, again, your guest host for Small Business CEO TV. You'll find me in the network.